What are absorption and bioavailability? Pharma Nord has always been focused on absorption and bioavailability and how to optimize them. That way, we can manufacture supplements that really work and that we can document through scientific research. For starters, it is important to know the difference between water-soluble and lipid-soluble vitamins. Water-soluble vitamins. Vitamin C belongs to the group of water-soluble vitamins. When you take a pill with vitamin C, the pill dissolves into many small fragments inside the stomach. The vitamin content then moves from the stomach into the small intestine. From here, it passes through the intestinal membrane. Now, the vitamin is ready to be absorbed directly in the bloodstream. The blood then carries vitamin C to all the cells in the body. Water-soluble vitamins, such as vitamin C and B vitamins, are absorbed directly in the bloodstream. The uptake of lipid-soluble vitamins, on the other hand, is a little more complicated. Vitamin D is one of the lipid-soluble vitamins. When you ingest food with vitamin D or take the vitamin in supplement form, it starts by being broken down in the stomach, just like we saw with vitamin C. However, because vitamin D is lipid-soluble, it must get inside the lipid-containing micelles that are made by means of bile salts. This is why you should always take lipid-soluble vitamins that are dissolved in the exact right quantity of oil or lipids to help the process. It is for this reason that Pharma Nord's D pearls come as small oil-filled capsules. From the stomach, vitamin D is able to enter the intestine and transported via the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system carries the nutrients all the way through the body and into the blood. From here, the vitamin is taken up by the liver and passed onto the kidneys that activate the vitamin. It takes substantially longer for the body to absorb a lipid-soluble vitamin than one that is water-soluble. Absorption is all about looking at how effectively an active compound is able to reach the bloodstream. Although one normally measures concentrations of various compounds in the blood, this is not where the compounds carry out their functions. In order to get a clearer picture, we must enter the cells to look at bioavailability. The first step was to get the active compound into the blood. The next step is to make the absorbed nutrient available to the cells. When an active compound enters the cells and is ready to carry out its functions, it has become bioavailable to the cells. With proper processing of the active compounds and by using the right raw materials in the right forms, it is possible to obtain good bioavailability. On the other hand, if an active compound is not processed or handled properly, it may get destroyed in the manufacturing process or lose its ability to be absorbed. Q10 is a good example of a compound that is difficult to make bioavailable. It requires using special oils with different melting points. This is the reason why Pharma Nord can document the bioavailability of its unique Q10 formula. So to sum up, absorption is about a compound's ability to reach the bloodstream. Bioavailability is about making the active compound available to the body's cells and documenting through scientific studies that it actually works.